They say that March, the third month of the year, comes in like a lion and out like a lamb. This is the third New Year's Day for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu since his election to his fourth term as Prime Minister in March 2015. The year ahead for Netanyahu is expected to come in like a lion, continue like a lion, and go out like a lion. Be the first to know, join our Facebook page. Function, D, S, ID, VAR JS, FJS equal D get elements but tag name, S, 0, if, D get element beard, ID, return, JS equal D create element, S, JS dot ID equal ID, JS SRC equal slash slash connect Facebook dot net slash n underscore us slash all JS number XFBML equal one and app ID equal one six three four one four eight zero six eight nine seven FJS parent node insert before JS FJS document script Facebook JS SDK the developments that will make this year particularly ferocious for the Prime Minister include the criminal investigations of Netanyahu and his wife Sarah controversial legislation in the Knesset, and diplomatic developments set to be advanced in the year ahead by U.S. President Donald Trump perhaps such challenges would be less problematic for Netanyahu if he still had capable former coalition chairman David Baitan at his side. But Baitan has been neutralized by his own criminal investigations, in which he is set to be questioned by police a dizzying three times this week Baitan's replacement David Amsalem is as despised in the Nesset corridors as Baitan is beloved. His ability to defend Netanyahu from his powerful and sensitive post will be hindered by his lack of grace, charisma and ability to work well with people of differing views after yet another delay. The police are expected to recommend in March to indict Netanyahu for breach of trust and perhaps bribery in case 1000, the Gifts Affair, and case 2000, the Newspaper Collusion Scandal. As Netanyahu and his associates constantly remind people, the police recommendations have no legal significance. Only Attorney General Avakay Mendelblit will decide Netanyahu's fate, and if the police do not ask for more time, that will happen sometime by the end of 2018 but when the police recommendations are leaked to the press, there will be tremendous pressure on Finance Minister Moshe Kalan to remove his Kulinu party from the coalition, as Ehud Barak threatened to do with his Labour Party when police recommended indicting Ehud Olmert chances are that Kalan will stay, and Netanyahu will succeed in passing up David Ben-Gurion to become the country's longest-serving prime minister on September 23, 2018 but there is always a chance that Netanyahu himself could initiate an election before then if he decides it would serve him tactically what could throw everything off is if the police decide at any given point to declare Netanyahu a suspect in the much more serious submarine affair, Case 3000. With all due respect to newspapers and cigars, if Netanyahu traded Israel's national security for money for his confidant, that would blow the other two cases out of the water. The Jerusalem Post's legal correspondent Yona Jeremy Bob reported on Friday that the police recommendations law, which passed last week, is completely unclear about whether the police could issue recommendations about Netanyahu in case 3000. There are also investigations of Netanyahu's wife Sarah for alleged misuse of public funds which could either make the political year even more intense or perhaps calm it down if she becomes the legal scapegoat who gets thrown in the fire while her husband is cleared of charges while the focus all year will remain on the probes, there will be controversial legislation in the Knesset almost every week when the parliament is in session. The most problematic politically for Netanyahu will be over matters of religion and state, where his coalition is especially divided but there will also be bills that will change how political campaigns are financed, the role of deputy ministers, and whether land in Jerusalem can be relinquished in a diplomatic agreement.